Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to take a look at the influence of jettisoning your weapons when under attack has on not being destroyed. For those of you not familiar with the WRA and Command Modern Operations, if you press Control shift up 9 and take a peek, you probably notice there's this lovely thing here that says Jettison Ordnance. Uh, this really refers to when under attack. Now there's two options for this. There's either no or there's Jettison Ordnance when under attack. Convenient. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this to no in Lego Z. And we have two different aircraft here. Uh, we have an F-15E Strike Eagle. And uh, what we've done is we've loaded them down pretty hard with a lot of Mark 82s here. And of course, uh, directly behind it is none other than our lovely B-52D Stratofortress, which is also loaded down with, oh, let's see, 108 Mark 82 500 pounders. So what we're here to see is what happens uh, when we get in range of my very, very talented SA-2 crew down here when they go to fire at our incoming aircraft. And uh, what we want to evaluate is what happens if they jettison, what happens if they don't jettison. So let's find out what happens here first. So F-15E is up first. So he's basically sitting here coming on in. He's uh, skidding pretty high altitude, about 36,000 feet there. That's uh, pretty good for a strike eagle. Just kind of cruising, just kind of cruising, just kind of go. There's the warning. So what he will do is he will immediately put the missile at his, uh, looks like a nine o'clock right there. It's actually going to be a little more than nine o'clock, but that's perfectly good doctrine. He's doing everything correctly. The other thing you'll notice is he's uh, building up as much speed as he can, and he's starting to execute a little bit of a climb here. You can see he's got about 36,000 feet here. This is real time, by the way. We have the two SA-2s are rolling in right now. We're almost up to, uh, we're moving. We're moving. Uh, I'm about Mach 1.22. Here comes first missile. It's just going to sail right on by. And our second missile is not just going to come sneak up on this F-15 as well. It's going to get close. It's going to get close, but it's not going to do anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results. So the first one, of course, that one is <laughs> missed. That happens sometimes. The second one there, if you actually take a look at the results here, you can see here that its original probability of hit was 30%, which is based on the weapon, by the way. If you ever want to know, like if you want to play the probability game, so to speak, you can actually come in here. Oh, this is a 120D. Is it 20D? I always forget which one. Yeah, it's a 20D. I was right. Uh, let's see here. Our original probability of hit for this particular weapon, if we just wanted to consult it real fast, it starts at 30%, so not very good. So let's see here. Probability of hit was 30%, adjusted for actual speed, 20%. So there's a 10% reduction because of speed. Pretty substantial. But again, we're not here to measure that. We're here to measure payload. So if you go through this, you'll see our nominal agility is 4.5. Our adjusted for altitude is 2.2. High altitude, less agility. Uh, my guy here is a cadet. I did it a cadet, I know. I've reduced this one already. Uh, let's see. Empty weight fraction is 0.97. Uh, he's really close to maximum weight here, and that's intentional. You will see because of that, he has an actual agility adjusted to 0.46, which is not bad. Bad. It's not terrible. Lower altitude, this would be a little better. Um, we have a high uh, flexion impact, which doesn't affect agility. Final agility modifier, minus five. Uh, that's the magical number we're interested in here. This is the one that's going to tell us how much our maneuverability really made it easier not to get blown up. So we can see, can you look here, and uh, we can see we have a final probability of hit of 8%, and of course our result was a 65. Uh, we rolled a miss. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my poor F-15 here. So next up, of course, is a B-52. And now the reason I pulled out the B-52 for this is this is an excellent exercise because this thing is laden. It is very, very heavy, and it'll be able to demonstrate the importance of agility very quickly. Let me pause. There's one thing that I forgot to do, though. I forgot to make sure that it won't just jam everything that's going to be attacked. So let's go ahead and uh, remove all these real fast, just to make it a little bit more fair. That looks good to me. That looks good to me. Tail warning radar. That looks good to me. Go pop over to weapons. We're going to dump all the chaff and everything. There we go. That's a little better. All right, I'm paused. If I did that on the F-15 already, by the way. So let's see, our SA-2 fires. Our B-52 crew uh, sees this thing uh, rolling in here. Uh, they're going to go ahead and execute their turn as well. They're going to try to put it on the 9 o'clock. Of course, we're dealing with B-52 here. So uh, we are not going to be able to go that fast. One thing you'll notice, of course, is uh, we're going ahead and uh, slowing down in the turn here. Oh, that's going to happen on account of the fact that uh, we are just kind of big. But the first missile comes in, which kind of either goes by or does not detonate. Now it comes by, here comes the next one, and we get nothing. Let's go ahead and take a quick gander and see where the results are. So swinging in here, we can see our B-52 here, 30% probability of hit. That's already in there. B-52 has a 1.5 agility, not much. Just for altitude, a little bit. Proficiency, uh, 0.64. Empty weight fraction, 99%. Agility adjusted to 0.26 half of the agility of our F-15 buddy. Um, it has some, a little forward oblique impact. Da, 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 da. Final probability of hit was a 21%, and I rolled a 22. Oh, that was close. Wow, that's a totally different probability than our F-15. Keep in mind, our F-15 was going twice as fast. 
Oh, let's see, coming down here, you can see the other one, pretty much the same. And I'm gonna open this sucker up real quick. You can take a quick gander. And let's see, a probability 19% was the second shot. Again, it was a little bit worse probability because we had that weirder impact angle than we had on that initial one. We hadn't finished taking our turn, if that makes sense. So this is interesting. Uh, we have our initial numbers here, and now uh, we can now go ahead and reopen the scenario, but this time we're gonna dump our payload and see if it makes a difference. All right, here we go. So I can see here that our F-15, yes, before anybody asks, I did rip off all the uh, sensors and offensive ECM and all that other good stuff. So here comes our F-15, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to press Control shift f 9 and we're going to order it to jettison ordnance if it gets attacked. Let's see if it makes any difference here. So remember, our final probability of hit with ordnance was right around 10%. So we'll, we'll see what happens when we get closer. Again, I expect to launch right about here if my um, um, SA-2 crew is doing a pretty good job here. The big difference, though, is we're about to lose all of our bombs. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. So F-15E immediately executes a right turn. Again, that turn was a little bit quicker this time because we didn't have all that extra weight. The other thing I noticed is he automatically jettisoned all of his ordnance. And, uh, oh, well, stuff happens, you know. And we, I accidentally pushed the Admiral's doorbell. The other thing we're going to notice is he is climbing like a rocket and picking up speed a lot faster than he was a moment ago. So the first SAM comes in here. Oh, that one landed pretty darn close. I did not like how nasty close that was. Here comes the next SAM. We're already doing 700, almost 80 knots when he, that missile... Oh, Oh, yeah, that one did not have a chance. The geometry was just not on the side of this particular aircraft, or I should say the missile. So we're F-15, no problem. Let's see how we did here. So open this one up real quickly here. Da, 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 same numbers we saw before. Let's see, um, cadet aircraft has a weight fraction of 0.54, so it was half the weight last time. And you can see our agility went up by an entire third, which is actually a substantial amount of agility. Uh, we got all the math here. Probability of hit, 7%. So that was a basically negligible change here. And the reason that's important is that that 3%, yeah, it means theoretically use 3% less planes out of 100 shots. Yeah, you can see why that's important. But the other thing is not massive. And of course, um, I now have no bombs. So he's going to have to go back home and explain to the, you know, the colonel there why he doesn't have any weapons on board. Now, where things get interesting is with our B-52 here. And let's go ahead and unpause here and let the B-52 kind of sneak up. And again, I picked the F-15E intentionally because I knew for a fact that that aircraft is a very, very special when it comes to performance. And they're going to be launching in just a moment here. Uh, turn the wheel slowly, slowly. It's a push. You got to hold down the button. You have to press and hold. That's the thing everybody forgets. So we got a warning from the Illuminator. There's the actual missiles coming up. Our B-52 crew immediately jettisoned nothing. So let's go ahead and pop real quickly here. Uh, they're under attack. Uh, maybe they didn't think to jettison everything. So let's see here. Why did you folks not jettison your cargo here? That was a very, very disappointing. Uh, perhaps they don't have a button to do it in a hurry, kind of a thing like that. Sort of disappointing me, folks. But um, one thing I can do, of course, is I'm going to go into weapons real fast. I'll go to my loadout. I'm going to go ahead and change this. We're going to assume that they jettisoned. Maybe I didn't give them enough time because I didn't see the maneuvering right away. And there's the maneuvering. Ah, I just didn't give them enough time to drop the stuff off. So here we go. The B-52 is now going to execute a turn. We're losing all sorts of speed in that turn. Oh, no. Oh, the first one didn't do anything. Here comes the next one. Prepare to lose a plane. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, nothing. Pause. Let's see what happened. So the first one, of course, uh, came rushing in here. I know we can see here pretty much the same probability of hit. Uh, we didn't have any speed. Our nominal agility adjusted for altitude. Empty weight fraction was 0.89, which meant our agility, instead of being 0.26 there, was like 0.3. So not a massive impact in agility here. This was a forward oblique impact. It does all the math for us. But final probability of hit is a 22, which is basically the same as it was a minute ago. Coming down here, if we take a look at the second weapon that was fired, again, we had a better oblique here. Again, we were more square to the missile, if you want to think about it another way. Coming down here, um, again, agility slightly improved. Um, final probability of hit was a 21. I rolled a 28. And our B-52 lives to drop a bomb another day. So what is the biggest takeaway here? Uh, the first thing you're probably going to notice is, yes, there is an impact if you jettison stuff. Obviously, if I were a little bit lighter, we could probably cheat just a little bit. As a matter of fact, as I'm discussing the impacts of this, uh, we're going to set this up and have some fun with it. But there's a bunch of different things that we can take away from this. Uh, one thing, of course, that we'll probably notice, which I'm sure everybody did, is the fact there is indeed an impact of jettisoning your weapons. Uh, that does make a difference. You will definitely have a greater agility at your disposal. 
Downside, as you probably noticed, is we've now failed the mission because we've dumped a bunch of bombs in the ocean for a 3% better probability of not getting shot down kind of a thing. Not the greatest combo. So uh, what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to go ahead and help this airplane out just a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Change unit properties. I do this every single time. Uh, right click. I'm pretty sure. Whoa. I hate that. I hate that. Oh, that's right, because we have a new version, so they have changed all that. I hate it when I do that by accident. Right click. Uh, let's see here. Cargo, unit properties. Oh, why am I being blind here? Set aircraft properties. Um, why am I being blind? Every single time. Every single time. All right. Yeah, select new home base. Uh, we're going to go scenario editor, unit properties. Ah, there it is. Unit properties. I was just being blind. Oh, let's see. Airborne time, uh, two hours and 30 minutes. Oh, it's 23 hours. That would probably be bad for us. Uh, let's do two hours and 30 minutes, please. There we go. So, oh my gosh. Don't be difficult, please. Three hours of flying, automatically adjust. And you can see that lowers our weight a little bit. Yeah, let's just do 25,000. Let's see if that helps. There we go. So, uh, again, I right-clicked again. That was my mistake, my part. All right, so our B-52 is going to come hovering over here. Uh, again, I've already ordered him. I can actually come over here and press delete on that. Click on him, F1, click. He's looking pretty good. Again, I'm going to have to disable that right-click. Uh, we had a recent patch that overrode all my local settings. Ah, I hate it when it does that. All right, so we're coming in. Missiles launched. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to intentionally drop our payload. And uh, to do that, of course, we're going to, rather than have them drop it in a second, we're just going to go through the motions ourselves just for the purposes of this experiment. So we're going to unpause. Uh, here comes the weapons. We get the illuminator warning first. Our P-52, it's a little bit lighter. <laughs> There's the first one. And here comes the second one. Yeah, and there we go. Let's go take a look at the uh, results of that here. So our first one, of course, oh, there's another one on the way. Uh, let's see here. Final probability is 18%. Wow. So dumping all that fuel gave us 4 more percent probability of not getting bloated. Uh, keep in mind that um, obviously we also had to get rid of our bombs on board. So that had a pretty substantial impact. Notice, by the way, when we made a really, really hard deflection shot, that our probability of hit dropped to 50 percent that's amazing for a completely unaided b-52 here that's actually it's going to take a lot of missiles look at that the b-52 is just turning and running oh that was a mistake no 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 that was a mistake <sighs> well i'm gonna to have to explain to uh the youtube censors there that there was violence in my video thanks to that one uh sometimes they just do the silliest things they get panicky so the cool thing here is, as you can see, we can no longer accomplish the mission for a 3% change. So uh, does that make a big difference? Eh, it could make a big difference. But again, a lot of it comes down to the aircraft, the performance of the aircraft, and obviously big airplanes that are burnt up a bunch of fuel. Um, that's going to work well for them. If you're a little airplane with tons of gas on board, dropping your payload, you've just failed the mission automatically kind of a thing. So it's just kind of another way to look at. Now, of course, I know you're sitting here thinking, well, uh, uh, but what if... You're saying, but what about modern aircraft? Uh, what about modern fire control radars? What about modern missiles? Isn't that going to help? Well, realistically, it's not going to do us much good. Let me show you why in a second here. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and tossed in, uh, of course, an S-300, because I'm a bad person. And I'll take a look at this thing. It has a really, 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 really long range. Uh, when I come down here, you can see we've already deployed our weapons, and the uh, missiles are actually on the way right now. So off they go. So off they go. Whoa, that one's uh, doing the turn. If you're wondering where this one's going, by the way, it's actually going towards our little Hawkeye, which, ha choo <laughs> I mean, so this one's uh, coming sneaking in. We can see our F-15 has two of these things coming in. Our F-15 crew immediately jettisoned their weapons. They're turning hard. Oh, I'm going to leave the ECM on the B-52 here, just in case it makes a difference. Our F-15 turning, 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 splattered. And splattered. Let's go ahead and take a look. Did it matter? Uh, let's see here. It impacts the uh, this one. It's an SA-20, by the way. Let's see. It was a 90% probability of hits. Oh, we managed to get it down to 76 for the B-52. Now, our high-performance F-15 here that got splattered. Uh, you'll see here that it was pretty effective, actually. It did a nice job. You can see our empty weight fraction, 54. High deflection impact, that's really what mattered. Intercept angle, that's really, really what mattered. You can see, again, 42% chance. So it didn't. It did matter. Those high-performing weapons, even if we had 3% greater, the probability of that follow-up missile getting us puts us up into like the 75% probability of destruction there. So you can see here, as the weapon systems get more capable, it makes that whole just jettison not as effective. It's much, much safer to not get launched on in the first place or try to trick them to launching at long distance so that it's much, much safer for you for the purposes of getting the heck out of there rather than trying to turn what the weapon. And again, with chaff and all that other stuff, it becomes slightly more possible to make these engagements. And again, it's that initial turn to get you that deflection shot that matters almost more than your empty weight fraction. Enjoy.